Let's look at this. Next one. In the given question, a part of the sentence is underlined. Alternatives to the underlined part are given, which may make the sentence. Okay, we're talking about sentence improvement. Let's look at it quickly. It should look to aggressively export more products that don't cater with the manufacturing or industrial sectors alone, like Ayurvedic and agro products and IT services. Right? Five options. We have the phrase that is underlined. We need to figure out if the phrase as it is is correct or do we have to make any changes. So I'm going to give you about 30 seconds. Let's see you do this. Now let's look at it, okay? 1, 1, 1, 1, 3, 3, 3, 3, 2, 2, 2, 2, okay. So let's look at this, uh, this context and see what actually is the right answer. Now, I'm going to break this down and tell you how to approach this question, okay? The first concept that we're going to look for this question is subject verb agreement. I'm giving you a clue. Can somebody tell me what, what about subject verb agreement? That will help me eliminate wrong answer options. What's the subject here? Products, right? We're talking about more than one product. We're talking about a plural subject here. Products don't. Product, singular subject, doesn't. Are you following? This is the first concept pertaining to subject verb agreement. Products don't cater. This product doesn't cater, right? So, those of you who came back and said option 1, I have to eliminate option 1, right? Because it has doesn't. Incorrect. So, applying concept 1 which is subject to verb agreement, I can safely eliminate option 1. Because it says doesn't. Right? He, she doesn't. They don't. Are you following? Yeah? Yeah? That's why I said products don't, product doesn't. So here I have products, plural subject. So I need don't only, I can't have doesn't. Option 1, out. Okay, now let's move on. It should look to aggressively export more. The second concept that we're going to look at to eliminate wrong answer options again is what? Collocations. What are collocations? Or let's say for in this in this context, we are talking about associated words that go together, right? Which is what? Phrasal verbs. What are phrasal verbs? Verb plus preposition. Right? So, the verb is what? Cater. Usually, let's look at concept 2, phrasal verbs, right? We're saying cater, verb plus preposition. What is the preposition that will go with cater? That's your second concept. You usually... You either cater to something or someone or you can even cater for something or someone. Yeah. So if I say uh, we cater for all educational needs, right, I'm, I've used cater for or I can say Kumar's parents spoil him and cater to his every whim. Whim means whatever he fancies, whatever he wants, whatever he desires. So cater means what? In the first context, we cater for all educational needs means we help, we provide, we sustain, we support. Right? Kumar's parents spoil him and cater to his every name. Here means what? They are indulging him, they are spoiling him, they are pampering him. So in that sense, whatever does not have cater to, can I eliminate quickly? So cater in, out. They were not catering with out. So I have to choose between 2 and 4. Now let's look at the context. So we've applied concept concept 1, subject verb agreement. Concept 2, plural uh, phrasal verbs. Cater 2 or cater 4. Right, I have to choose between 2 and 4. It should look to aggressively export more products. Which means we're talking about something in the future. Right? It should look to aggressively export more products that don't cater to the manufacturing or industrial sectors with the manufacturing industrial sectors alone with Ayurvedic and agro products and IT services. Are you following? So answer is to why because we're talking about something that has to be done in the future. So I cannot have this is talking about something that's in the past right that we're not catered to. We're not talking about a past context. So four is also out. So the third concept that we've applied here is concept three was tenses. What tense do I need? It should look to aggressively export. Something in the future has to be done. 
products that don't cater to the manufacturing industrial sectors alone like Ayurvedic and agro products and IT services? The answer is option 2. I don't know how many of you got this right. So how many concepts did we look at? Concept 1, subject verb agreement. Concept 2, phrasal verbs. Concept 3, tenses. Are you following? I don't need a past tense here. So what I'm basically saying is for a question pattern like this, look at the concepts that you need to be familiar with. Tenses, subject verb agreement, phrasal verbs. Right? If I'm thorough with these basic concepts, for a fact, I will not choose the wrong answer option. So here we are. Sentence improvement. Let's look at this. Uh, the co-production agreement has already resulted in several film ventures being signed and this hopefully opens up the market for more Indian films and television programs. So the uh, part that is highlighted is and this hopefully opens up the market for more Indian films and television programs. And if you look at the options, right, the only difference is open up, opened up, open up, opening up opens up and then I have four more in everything except the last one it says in more so what can I quickly eliminate uh, just eye for detail looking at this what can I quickly eliminate first let's eliminate the wrong answer options right can we do that a lot of you says three but I, I want I want us to eliminate options first in fact those of those of you are saying option five I think that's the first thing that you will uh, eliminate right don't you think the market opens up for Indian films and television programs, right? So that's the first thing you will probably eliminate, in fact, because of in here. Why? Because, yes, I have a past tense context here, right? So I'll eliminate two. Now, if you're confused between the other options, if you look at the context, there's a clue word in the context. Can somebody identify that clue word which will help us figure out or narrow down to the answer option? There is a clue word in the context. I'm going to give you about 30 seconds. Who can identify the clue word? It's just one word. Good. The clue word is hopefully. Okay, that's our clue word. Not already, hopefully. The co-production agreement has already resulted in several film ventures being signed. So we're talking about the hope is that as a result of this agreement being signed in the future, right, the market would open up for Indian films and television programs. That's the hope, which means I need to look for a sentence that is giving me this meaning. Because of this agreement, this process has already started. The hope is that in the future, this is what will happen. So, what is the option that is giving me that meaning? Is it 1, 3 or 4? Yes, 3. And this would hopefully open up the market for more Indian films and television programs. So, my question is then what's wrong with 1 and 4? And this is hopefully opening up the market. Right? Continuous tense, I don't need that. Incorrect. What's wrong with 1? opens up right it, it should be opens up and this singular subject singular verb opens s should be there it's not there out right a little bit of subject verb agreement therein so the clue is hopefully every time you have a context like this one is you can do it both ways one is you can quickly step one try and eliminate wrong answer options narrow your answer options eliminate wrong answer right to look for the context meaning See if there's any clue words or hint words that you can quickly identify. So based on that, you can figure out the answer. There are a lot of other things as well, right? Are you following? Okay, open up. I think most of you missed out. I for detail. It should be opens up, no? And this hopefully opens up the market for more Indian films and television programs would have been appropriate. But that's not what is it there. So the answer is option three. Okay, super. So we, uh, what and all we applied here? We applied subject verb agreement concept tense concept right we eliminated two and four because of tense this is an incorrect preposition here so it all boils down to your basic grammar right because chinese capital goods are often much cheaper than those from western or japanese manufacturers such imports from china keeping costs low allowing india to modernize and upgrade its infrastructure more quickly again what can i eliminate let's look at context meaning see you have this okay i will give you a clue okay because is one clue so the context is giving me a meaning saying a reason why something is possible I want you to keep looking at contexts which you can quickly eliminate because Chinese capital goods are often much cheaper than those from Western or Japanese manufacturers such imports from China can do something if you look at the 
options right where where are my differences keeping costs low can keep costs low kept costs low can keep costs low can keep costs low i'll have to figure this out so there's something to do with tens here then i have even allowing india i have allowing india allow india allowing india allows india allowing india right and another difference that i have in the first one is their infrastructure it's 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 everything else so quickly look at dissect the question see where are all the options where the differences are first so what can i quickly eliminate i will quickly eliminate option 1 i'll tell you why it can't be option 1 because if you see infrastructure upgrade infrastructure more quickly whose infrastructure are we talking about india right singular subject why do i need a plural pronoun here it's is what it should be i will quickly eliminate option 1 because of that and even the continuous tense here keeping is incorrect because of the past tense yes good out kept costs low past tense i don't need i will eliminate option 1 and 3 what else can i eliminate quickly so i have this comma right in the second one if i say such imports from china can keep costs low how can i how can i i need to introduce something here to have this allow be allowed <laughs> what is that what can i add here in option 2 If I add something, option two will be correct. Can somebody tell me what is that? I'll see who's going to answer this to answer this for me. I have to add and here. Then two will be correct because Chinese capital goods are often much cheaper than those from Western or Japanese manufacturers. Such imports from China can keep costs low and allow India to modernize and upgrade its infrastructure more quickly. Can be correct, but because I don't have that and out, I have to choose between four and five. Four. such imports from china can keep costs low allows india is again incorrect out so what's the right answer fifth one such imports from china can keep costs low allowing india to modernize and upgrade its infrastructure more quickly is absolutely fine and this is our answer are you following are you guys following so usually in questions like this uh, either it will be and allow and allows india to modernize or it should be allowing india because of the comma okay guys we just saw right either i'll have to start with a gerund ing form here because of the comma or i have to say and such imports from china can keep costs low allows india incorrect because of the comma i need to introduce another subject here what allows india to modernize and upgrade its infrastructure more quickly either i say imports allow in fact when i say imports it will become allow Imports allow India to modernize and upgrade its infrastructure more quickly. It's more to do with subject-verb agreement, right? Plural subject, guys. Why four is wrong? Because this is why four is wrong. Such imports from China can keep costs low. It has to be allow. Why? Import allows. Imports plural subject allow. Are you following? Okay. Allowing is possibly that. That's why we've chosen five, right? Okay. See, I think I I know where the problem is. The problem is you're not familiar with basic constructions, right? In terms of simple sentence, compound sentence. What is the function of a conjunction in a sentence? How can it add meaning and complete the meaning structurally and grammatically? Because sentence improvement has to do with that, right? I need to understand sentences in construction, how they are used. Uh, if I use a conjunction, what will change? Will the tense change? What about my subject and my verb agreement? All the basics is where you guys are having a challenge with, and that's why you're not able to look at it in that particular context. If I if I say in this context you have to put and, you're automatically thinking, okay, and I will put in every context. No, it doesn't work like that. It depends on the context. Yeah. 